Good morning, all of you. Welcome to the online class. Myself, Osar Kumar Mahapatra, assistant teacher of Sanskar, the Gurukul International School. So now, we will study about the chapter number two, that is called polynomials. We will study about polynomials. Chapter number two. So, what is a polynomial? First, that is the question, what is called a polynomial? Polynomial is a algebraic expression. That is an algebraic expression which contains the terms that may be a constant term and also more than one term. That is x, x square, x2 like terms. For example, px is equal to 3 plus x plus x square. So, this is called a polynomial. Because here we will find three terms are there. What are the three terms? One is constant term, another term is variable term x and here is also x square that is a x is a variable so if I say only 3 that is containing only one term if that is containing any algebraic expression containing only one term single term that is called Monomia. That is called monomia. So, what is monomia? You can say monomia is single term contents. You see three, and three means you can say that is three into x zero. Because x to the power zero, x to the power zero is one. So, any constant term can be written as like this 3 3 means 3 into x to the power 0 so I can say polynomial this is you see 3 means 3 x 0 3 x to the power 0 here is x to the power 1 here is x to the power 2 so more than one term that is known as a poly so polynomial more than one term and if contain one term that is called monomia. So any algebraic, <laughs> any algebraic expression that contains the variable terms as well as the constant terms. Variable terms as well as the constant term that is called a polynomial. So now you can say in this expression it means p of x it means all term are written as in x term 3 3 means 3 into x to the power 0 here is x to the power 1 that is x to the power 2 like that so i will say if contain only one term like 3 that is called monomial if any polynomial contains two terms, suppose I will say x plus x square. If any polynomial contains two terms, that is called binomial. Contains two terms, that is called binomial. And if it contains three terms, that is called trinomial like that so more than one two three whatever more terms contain we can tell that is a polynomial so the standard form to write a polynomial what is the standard form to write a polynomial you can write either in ascending order otherwise in descending order if you are writing the algebraic expression
system in ascending order that is the standard form otherwise if you are writing in descending order that is also a standard form suppose i will say x cube plus x square plus x plus 1 you see here power is 3 or degree is 3 Then here degree is two, here degree is one, and here one can be written as one into x to the power zero. So this is called what? Descending order. Descending order why? First is three, then two like that. So that descending order. Otherwise you can say one plus x plus x square plus x cube like this. This is called ascending order. So either ascending order of the terms, each one is called term. Each member is called term of a polynomial. So in terms we will write either in ascending order, otherwise in descending order. That is called the standard form. So you have to say that is called a standard form. But you have to remember. Some cases we can see that algebraic expression is not a polynomial. Remember, if I will say that is one by one by x, one by x plus five, this will not be a polynomial. Always remember, denominator should not contain x term. Denominator should not contain x term. If denominator is x, that is not a polynomial. That you have to remember. If denominator, denominator is a variable. Denominator is a variable. That is not a polynomial. Second thing, if you say that suppose. Five root x. Five root x. It means containing root of her. Five root x. This is also not a polynomial. You have to remember. Five root x is not a polynomial. Similarly, power. Suppose I will say x to the power three by five. X to the power three by five. If power is a fraction. If power is a fraction, that is also not a polynomial. So remember the three things: denominator x, denominator containing variable, that is not a polynomial. If I say like this, i root x, that is not a polynomial. Similarly, if we say power is a fraction, that is also not a polynomial. These three things. You have to remember. Suppose I will write x to the power x to the power three by four root x. So this will not be a polynomial. Always remember if power is a fraction. That is not a polynomial. If root of r is there, that is also not a polynomial. And if we we'll write one by five x, that is also not a polynomial. Denominator should not contain x. So these three things we have to remember. Then, what is the degree of a polynomial? Suppose I write. x five plus one. If I say x to the power five plus one, so what will be the degree? Because you say the highest power, highest power is what? Five. So you can say degree is five. Degree is equal to five. Degree means exponent. Otherwise you can say power. So x to the power five plus one, so you can say degree of the polynomial 
डिग्री ऑफ द पॉलीनोमियल इज 5 सपोज आई विल से x टू द पावर 7 बाय x टू द पावर 3 सपोज क्वेश्चन इज लाइक दिस सो अल्टीमेटली वी विल से x टू द पावर 7 बाय x टू द पावर 3 दैट इज नॉट मीन x टू द पावर 4 सो दैट इज फोर कमिंग सो फोर कमिंग मींस डिग्री इज 4 सो यू हैव टू रिमेंबर इफ एनी पॉलीनोमियल सपोज आई लेट 7x 7x x पावर इज 1 इफ x पावर इज 1 यू कैन से लीनियर पॉलीनोमियल x पावर इज 1 दैट विल से लीनियर लीनियर पॉलीनोमियल फ्रॉम x टू द पावर 1 इट मींस डिग्री इज 1 अदरवाइज यू कैन से एक्सपोनेंट इज 1 दैट इज कॉल्ड लीनियर पॉलीनोमियल सपोज आई से 2x square plus 3x highest degree is 2 generally highest degree that will take into consideration so here highest degree is 2 therefore we can say that is quadratic quadratic polynomial so what is quadratic you can say whenever exponent is 2 whenever power is 2 that is called quadratic similarly if i say 3x3 plus 5x square suppose i will say like this 3 into x to the power 3 plus 5x square so since highest power is 3 so we can say that is cubic polynomial that is called cubic cubic polynomial whenever power is 3 that is called cubic polynomial similarly whenever power is 4 whenever power is 4 that is called biquadratic polynomial biquadratic that is called biquadratic polynomial so in this way we will classify the polynomials as per their degree as per their exponent as per their power, we will classify the polynomials. If degree is 1, degree is 1, that will say linear polynomial. Already I told linear polynomial 7x, that is called linear polynomial. Otherwise 7x plus 5, whatever you write, degree is 1. So you will say if exponent is 1, that is called linear polynomial. Similarly, degree is 2, that is called quadratic polynomial. Similarly, degree is 3, that is called cubic polynomial. If degree is 4, then that is called biquadratic polynomial. So, students, already we remember regarding the polynomials, that is a algebraic express, expression which contains the constant term as well as x terms, x terms, y terms, z terms, whatever. The standard form is generally we can write either in ascending order, otherwise in descending order. And third thing I told, which will not be included as polynomial. Now first thing we have to remember, if a denominator contains x, that is not a polynomial. If there is root of her sign, root of her x, that is not also a polynomial. And again I told, if power is a fraction, if power is a fraction, that is also not a polynomial. So students already regarding the polynomial, introduction class is over and next class we will calculate, we will solve some problems. So some numericals I will give you, now you may write. Some numericals for you that you have to write the degree of the polynomial. You have to write the degree of the polynomial. 2 plus x plus x square plus x cube. Question number 2. x cube plus x to the power 4 plus 3x5. Then question number 3. 2 by 3 x square plus 7x plus 3. That things 
you have to remember in each question you have to find out the degree of the polynomial so today this class is over and you have to do this numericals any doubt arises you will contact with me in my mobile number thank you all dear children